Hey kids, welcome back to Creativity with Mr. B. It's always great when we're together. Every time we're together, I'll show you a skill, then you'll practice that skill and create on your own. I'm excited about what we can create together. Today's project comes from Miss Taylor at Liberty Oaks Elementary. Check out the art from her and her amazing students on Instagram. There's a link in the description of this video. Alma Woodsy Thomas was an African-American expressionist painter and art educator. Her paintings are best known for their use of pattern, rhythm, and color. Alma Thomas started her art career after teaching art for 38 years. As an African-American painter, she developed her style while breaking down barriers of racial segregation and gender bias. She believed that everyone can be creative regardless of who they are. Thomas's style included broad mosaic-like patches of color applied in concentric circles or vertical stripes. Take a look at When Dancing with Spring Flowers from 1969. Check out how her brushstrokes create the tight concentric circles that radiate from the center. Take a minute to look at the painting closely. What do you notice? And here's the radical radial beauty of the eclipse. The way Thomas's brushstrokes curve around in different colors reminds me of a sun or a rainbow. What does this painting remind you of? Those are really exciting works of art. And there are many more in galleries all over the world and online. So today, we're gonna create our very own paper and paint collages inspired by Alma Thomas. Today's work will rely heavily on pattern, rhythm, and color. Now let's talk about your materials. For materials, you need a piece of white paper. A square may work best. A two inch to four inch paper circle. Strips of construction paper or painted paper. Liquid glue or glue stick and a paint kit. Watercolor or temper paint works great. Make sure you have paint brushes and water. Use the glue stick or liquid glue to place your circle on your paper. It doesn't have to be in the middle. Tear up your paper strips and glue them down in concentric circles or rings around the first paper circle. It's important to tear about the same size as a paper for each ring. This makes your art have the same uniform, controlled style as Alma Thomas. You can do this one dot of glue at a time, or apply a circle of glue and then quickly place your torn pieces of paper. Take some time. Tear and glue several rings of construction paper and get them placed. Use your paint kit or crayons or markers, whatever you have add color to the space that's left. It can be a solid color or you can paint more rings of controlled brushstrokes. Wow, what a fun and calming creative process. I hope you had fun making your paint and paper collages inspired by Alma Thomas. Make sure you share your art with your family and friends, and I'll see you back here next time on Creativity with Mr. B.